So back in 2019, I lived in New Zealand for a year, and it's got to be one of the best years of my life. And this is one of the trips that I made in New Zealand where I flew up to the city called Wellington and just had a look around, hung out with one of my friends who was studying at uni there, and it was a great time. I always really love flying because you just get to see all the lands and mountains and clouds and towns and it's it just everything looks so small and you're just up so high and you just see everything from a different perspective which is just super cool. The reason why it was one of the best years of my life was well I just turned 18 and I was out and gonna see the world. I was meeting people, I didn't know anyone at all in New Zealand until I went there and met people. And it was just an incredible experience. I, I grew up quite a lot that year. I, I went into that year a boy and I came out a man. That's what someone told me and I reckon it's true. I only went on this Wellington trip for like a few days but it was just so cool to get out and just travel pretty much completely alone. The thing that Wellington was really well known for was just how windy it was, like all the locals called it Windy Welly. So the arrival was a bit bumpy, but I survived obviously, so that's good. I did have my friend who lived there who took me to see a few things and we went to a few places, but for the most part I had to figure it all out myself. I figured out buses, I had to figure out where to go, what to do, what to eat, and well, it was fun. So the day after I arrived in Wellington, I just spent pretty much the whole day just walking around, checking things out and learning about the history of the city, filming just whatever I found interesting. And it was fun to just explore, had no plan in mind, had no money to spend and just had time to look around and think about life. This is something I found really cool. This is their Parliament House, and I think they call it the Beehive or something. It's a pretty cool building. I really liked it. It was a cool thing to look at. It was just incredibly unique. I remember it was just such a beautiful day to go for a walk around and just check everything out. Like, it wasn't actually windy, which was unusual for that city. I had a nice snack somewhere random and just... It's a fun city, like, look at this bird, man. It's just, like, flying around. Hello, come and eat at my shop, please. It was cool seeing the different artwork in different places. Like, yeah, every city has art, but every city is different, and every city's art is different. My friend eventually clocked off for uni for the day, so we had lunch together, and then we went and did some sightseeing together. We checked out a bunch of things, like, we checked out just this cool shopping mall. This is a pretty cool space, and... We also had a look at this tunnel where this tram went up to check out the botanical gardens. I really liked the ride, it was good fun. Up the top there was this pretty nice view of the city. It's always rewarding to get up the top of the hill whether you walk or drive just to see, look back and look at the beautiful place that you're in, no matter where in the world it is, it's a vibe, an absolute vibe. So once we got to the top, before we went to the botanical gardens, we just checked out this cool little tram museum that had like this wax figure checking stuff out and these spinning wheels. I didn't find it that interesting, but thought I'd still film it. The botanical gardens were just absolutely beautiful. It was just like basically all these biomes with all these different kinds of nature, different plants and stuff. Like they had an Australia section, which was nice to see after being so far away from home for so long. And they had like all these birds everywhere because New Zealand has birds everywhere. You know, it's cool to see some wildlife and there was just so many places to walk. Like I probably didn't even get to check out the whole thing, but I'm pretty sure I was there for like a few hours. It was cool crossing rivers and just exploring and just enjoying life with fresh air and green trees and grass and ponds and just having no plan in mind but to just chill. This place was really cool. I really liked that watchtower with the vines all over it. This is called the tree house. They had like a gift shop in there which is pretty neat and because it was high up there were some pretty sweet views. So this bird, this is a tui. I think they're a fairly common New Zealand bird, like I saw quite a lot while I was there. They make really cool noises. Hello, creepy child statue. Hi. 
I cannot remember where in Wellington this shot was taken, but it was a pretty cool view. Also, here's another seagull. I can't tell if it has one leg or it's just hiding its other leg. Also, have you ever seen anyone do this? It's like stand-up paddleboarding, but on a skateboard. So on day three, I decided to climb up Mount Victoria and it was hot. <sighs> it was nice to get away from all the highway noise and get out into the nature again and just go on a nice bushwalk up a hill, even though I was exhausted doing it. It is always a huge relief to get to the top of a hill, whether it's a massive mountain or just a hill. Because the view never fails to just be a huge reward for all of that walking upness. After this, I did go to the Wellington Zoo, but I couldn't film it because I didn't have permission to, so this concludes my Wellington trip. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a really cool time. I'll see you later.